Hello everyone and welcome to another Warhammer battle, this time featuring myself as the Vampire Count against Canadian H13 who shall be leading the forces of the Empire with a leader of Volkmar the Grim and a Light Wizard here. Without any further ado, this is going to be on the Sea of Chaos Isle, specifically East, whatever that means. And so looking at the armies here, I've deployed my Blood Knights on my far right flank here. So I have two units of Blood Knights, one on the left. We brought some Falbats since we are fighting the Empire. I'm expecting, you know, uh, anything from handgunners to even light archers, crossbows. They're good at disrupting. They've got high melee defense, so they can stick around for a little while. And of course, being undead, they won't run away from the battle. They will fight to the very end. A couple units of zombies, just maxing out on those. A total of five. So our infantry corps is very weak. It's just zombies, but where we really have some killing power... We have the Strigoi Vampire Lord mounted on a Terror Geist, and I kind of like him. He comes with poison. He also has a few special abilities, like the Ghoul King of Usheron. Gives him uh, self-healing and leadership, as well as he gets uh, Claws of Morcane. Gives him extra armor-piercing damage for 34 seconds. Opal Amulet a good ward save for 22% damage resistance. Coming with one Power Stone, and then his special ability is Command of the Unliving, which gives him a Summon of Crypt Ghouls instead of Zombies, and those are pretty good at dealing damage. He also comes out with Spirit Leech, Invocation of Nehek, and uh, of course the Death Streak Terror Geist has its own Breath Attack, so all good stuff here. I did bring the Sternsmen, so we had one kind of heavier, durable um, infantry unit, and they do have Silver Shields and Regeneration, so I'm expecting these guys to last a while in the front lines. Our other unit of Blood Knights, and oops, way in the back, Vanguard deployed in the back corner. I do have some Dire Wolves over here in case the Empire has any uh, archers that we need to chase down. They can come in and flank, and I brought the, um, I thought I had the Regiments of Renown. Yeah, here we are, the Dire Pack. So these guys, anti-large, very fast. They're good at dealing with cavalry and supporting in those engagements. And then far over here on the other flank, we have another unit um, actually, a unit of the Feasters in the Dusk, who do have Vanguard deployment. I wasn't quite sure where my opponent was going to set up, so I kind of kept my units on both sides. But these guys do have stocks, so they'll be able to sneak on in slowly but surely, and hopefully get into the back line and do some damage. But it'll be a while till that happens. As for my opponent, as I said, he does have the Light Wizard here, coming in with the Net of Amontok and Shen's Burning Gaze, as well as the Power Stone. And looks like he actually had... Blast as well. I don't know if that's really a good um, item to bring, but regardless, he did bring it. Volkmar the Grim pretty much fully kitted out uh, on top of his chariot here. Although, did he not bring the... Oh, he did bring the Jade Griffin. So yeah, fully kitted out with all the battle prayers. A very excellent lord. Perhaps one of the best, and I even have a model of him on the tabletop that I absolutely adore. Comes in with a couple units of swordsmen. Some Empire Knights over here, supported with Demigriff Knights with Halberds. So hoping to take care of any large threats with uh, these bad boys right here. Some spearmen kind of mixed in. And then he does also have the White Wolves, the Regiment of Renowned Huntsmen, and the Silver Bullets here who are both stocked, so I can't see them at the moment. And in the back we have another unit of Empire Knights and Demigriff Knights with Halberd. So I really like the combination of these two. You get the anti-infantry and armor of the Empire Knights and then the heavy hitting power of the Demigriff Knights. To go ahead and putting it on normal speed, I was attempting to uh, move my units over this way, kind of see if we can get a good um, attack on him, and then bring my Felbats up and over the ridge. Now, I didn't see his uh, his Huntsman or anything yet, but I do see, um, I kind of figured he'd be doing that as he has the Light Wizard, so I bring um, the Strigoi Vampire Lord up. He's going to try to start casting some spells and ideally get a breath attack as we kind of posture up here let that happen and I see he's trying to bring the light wizard so I know he's going to cast a spell on me I know the net's coming but I do have the damage resistance and the healing on the Strigoi vampire lord so I'm willing to take the bait and as we'll see here Felbatch just kind of camping above the rocks right now biding their time after all most of my army is very split up so let's go ahead and fast forward and here he goes he's going to go ahead and net me but at the same time I'm going to cast the terror geist breath and look at the damage coming in Immediately does a straight 1,000 damage uh, to the Light Wizard, who also overcasts and does some damage to himself. So he's down to about 1,500 health, so I say that's a good trade. We're going to be taking a lot of damage, but I do have the Opal Amulet triggered a little bit late, so I don't avoid all that damage, but I can just simply heal a lot of that back and pop up the um, self-healing. 
So at this point, I pull back. I'm starting to get my infantry up here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also have this Mortis engine. Completely forgot about that. I'm going to try to use the, the rocks to my advantage. Um, Z targeting for missile units is kind of tough, so they, they can't really predict your um, vertical axis that well. But now we do have our Blood Knights coming in. I did try to send the Dire Pack in to kind of sneak up on his rear flank, but he did catch me, so I'm going to run away. I probably could have engaged here with the Dire Pack. I think they would have won that fight, but I wanted to pull his cavalry away, and the wolves are slightly faster than the Empire Knights. Over here on the front line, Volkmar is just going to run through zombies. They are not a threat to him at all. But we do have some Blood Knights on this flank who should be going in for the Swordsmen. Although my biggest threat right now are the Missiles. So in the back line, Dire Wolves will be hopping on to Empire Knights here. We're going to completely surround them here. Dire Pack coming in from behind. And then Blood Knights coming in for another charge. Doing quite a bit of damage. Although he does have the Demogriff Knights that we need to watch out for. And here was a big mistake. I did not pay attention to my Mortis engine and it got shut down by all of the Silver Bullets. I should have kept it away a little bit longer while waiting for the Bellbats to get in. But that's going to cost me a lot of damage. However, we are riding off his um, Swordsman up in the front line. Demogriff Knights are coming to engage. And we did nearly kill off his uh, Light Wizard with another Breath Attack there. Uh, Empire Knights going to be running away in the flanks. And now I'm getting the Feasters in the Dusk in. They'll be able to start pounding on the backs of these spearmen. But Volkmar is very safe right now. He's just killing tons of zombies. 171 kills already. I really needed to spread these guys out more. Um, and then I'm going to try to take my Vampire Lord. I'm not sure exactly where I wanted to put him. Volkmar is a threat and I should have just immediately brought him in earlier onto Volkmar. He'll start to do some damage. Volkmar has lower melee defense. He's on a giant chariot, but we're going to miss a few attacks there and I start to realize that if I want to win this battle I need to keep my blood knights alive who are fighting against demigriff knights in the very far back line but they're not doing too well at the moment I mean we're winning this fight but the dire pack are getting killed by demigriffs that's going on in the back line I do get our feasters in the dusks now I'm trying to path them through and around the spearmen avoid those and get straight to the uh, white wolves and their missiles and just get those out of here because those handguns can do a lot of damage Vampire Lord is going to be activating his Claws of Mordkin, giving himself a damage boost. But in the meanwhile, things are looking okay. Feast of the, of the Dusk finally get onto the White Wolves, and they will ki uh, kill them very quickly with their 40 weapon strength, armor, uh, not so much armor piercing, but high base damage, poison. So these White Wolves are not long for this battle, as the Terror Geist works on fighting Demigriff Knights alongside our Blood Knights here. However, we are against Spearmen, so that does give the Empire an advantage here slowly chipping away. If I had the uh, Mortis engine still at this point, it would be really good because we have his missile shut down and we could run into him. He does still have his handgunners online, so I realized that I need to pull my other Blood Knights away from those Demigriff Knights and then just get them engaged here. Pieces of the Dusk are doing decent damage. They're at about 50 kills here. About 600 damage value. So they haven't paid for themselves yet, and I see the Spearmen, so I'm going to pull away. We're going to uh, drop right onto the Silver Bullets and work on taking them out. But Volkmar is on the on the hunt right now. Our Sternsmen are just slowly whittling away at Swordsmen. They would win that fight just by themselves, but with Empire Knights and Demigriffs, it makes it harder. But we do summon our first unit of Crypt Ghouls, or maybe this is the second summon. I think it's the, the second. They're going to come in, land right on the White Wolves, help fight these Swordsmen. And here, I just needed, I should have got these Crypt Ghouls right onto the Blood Knights. Uh, start poisoning them. I try to cast a little breath attack on Volkmar, but it completely misses, even at close range like that, so that was unfortunate. He's going to activate all his buffs and really support this fight, but the Blood Knights are running away. At this point, I just need to stick to Volkmar and uh, start whittling him down, but his regeneration is very fast, and I want to chase down those handgunners and keep them out of the battlefield. But of course, summons are only temporary, so they will eventually disintegrate, and we still have another unit to deal with. Uh, both my Blood Knights are over here fighting Silver Bullets, but I should have just pulled them out. We should have just gone for Volkmar and fought against the Spearmen and everything. I think perhaps I could have won that fight, at least with the Terror and everything, because Volkmar does not give them immune to Psychology. But at this point, I start to realize, okay, we're down to only Blood Knights. I made sure to shatter the Silver Bullets here, but our Crypt Ghouls are basically done. So I'm going to fast forward now as I try to just heal my Blood Knights a little bit. But he's got a serious death blob here now. I chase these swordsmen. They're terrified off trying to get any picks I can. But yeah, this is a very dangerous blob. Spearmen, swordsmen, 
David Griffiths and Volkmar, and Volkmar still has a lot to go on his healing cap. I don't think he's even close here. So I'm just going to run away for the moment. Uh, just trying to cast a few more invocations in the hex to see if I can get any more. And I want to, I feign a few charges, seeing if I can get him to pop his buffs to give us any extra advantage. For now, we're just going to play the patient game. Just seeing if I can get one more invocation in a hex, or at least split off the army, because this blob is very threatening. I don't have any more breath attacks either. Had I saved one, it would probably be really good to shut him down here. But yeah, that's just not going to happen. So eventually, I'm just trying to get some... Fatigue back with these guys, they're stabled, his, all of his stuff's exhausted. And I see a good pick here to go after the Empire Knights. And then Demigriff's over here, I'm going to engage. But yeah, with Folkmar's buffs, uh, and just all of the infantry here, we're not long for this world. Blood Knights aren't going to beat the rest of the Demigriff's, and I try my best here, but uh, of course with all the swordsmen coming in, and all the spearmen support, Demigriff's do terror route, which is great, but uh, there's still just way too many spearmen and not really a good way to deal with Volkmar. I probably could have cycle charged these Blood Knights a little bit more, but we're at the edge of the map here. They're going down, and we're just going to stand our ground as the uh, Ghoul King attempts to fight off the Brave Sons of Sigmar, who do have Sigmar Sons here too, so we have unbreakable swordsmen that we'd have to fight here. And yeah, our Terror Geist, I'm not, I don't know if I just played him not effectively or, or what it was. Um... I mean, he did get 2,700 damage value, so he definitely paid for himself. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just more zombie summons would have been better, and if I had my Mortis engine alive and maybe kept it back a little bit longer, I think this battle would have gone in my favor here. But the, the Ghoul King, I decided, you know, we're on the ground. There's no sense in running away. We'll just fight to the death. I try to get some attacks on Volkmar, see if maybe I can route him off, but the pathing does not want to work for my favor right now, so... He's just going to kind of attack whatever spearman he can. What a brave last stand, though, from the Ghoul King and his Terror Geist. And he looks really, really amazing. I love this model, but... Uh, had I done this battle again, I think I learned from some mistakes here. Probably would have waited a little bit longer with the Mortis Engine and played with my Blood Knights a bit better than I had done. And probably gone for Volkmar earlier. Had I just gone for Volkmar with the Vampire Lord at the start of the battle, I think uh, I would have been able to kill him while using Felbats and Zombie Summons to tie up the missiles. But I wanted to try out the Crypt Ghouls and the Feasters in the Dusk. I think they were an alright pick, especially against Empire, who doesn't have too much heavily armored. But we're going to disintegrate now, and there falls the Ghoul King amongst the corpses of his Blood Knights. Good game to my opponent here, uh, with Volkmar, a very, very strong lord. Uh, but I definitely learned a lot about the matchup here, and I will keep working on my Vampire plays. I do have one other replay that I want to pull up here. I will bring up uh, one more Vampire Counts battle, this time against the the Bailiot Man, who's going to bring an army of Skaven versus my army led by um, Vlad von Karstein with a White King. And I do bring a Mortis Engine in this battle. This was immediately after I wanted to kind of play with my build a bit and try something different. He's got lots of Skaven Slaves, some Doom Wheels, Play Claw Catapults. A lot of Deathglow Bombardiers, as well as a Warlock Engineer for his Lord. I mean, we're all coming in. I'm keeping the Crypt Ghouls, because I know that they're going to be good against Skaven. And two units of Hex Wraiths. So I immediately Vanguard deploy in the woods to see if I can catch any, like, sneaky gutter runners or anything. And he does have Doom Wheels, but they do have a Magical Missile Attack. So I immediately um, leave that engagement, run away with the Hex Wraiths. He's going to start shooting his um, artillery at me, but he doesn't really have any good targets. I mean, there's just zombies and some crypt ghouls, uh, but nothing that's really that I'm going to be too bothered about losing. He's got a nice wide defensive line here, artillery spread out kind of wide, uh, death globe bombardiers. But again, against zombies, they're not going to get a whole lot of value. I do have to rush forward, of course, because I am the vampire counts. And we do have a Vargulf. This is a unit I've been trying to play around with more often. Uh, I think they're very useful, it's fast, it regenerates, it of course causes terror, and it can be very good at just hunting down lords and being a very good support monster. Not terribly expensive either, I want to say it's like 800 gold if I recall correctly, I'd have to check that again. But we're just going to march up, I do have a white king coming in with, uh, what do you call it, uh, Scabscrath I think it's called? Yeah, so it's a, just a little breath attack that he can do three times, it does good damage against lightly armored stuff. And look at those Felbats actually getting clipped by a few play claw shots. I do have my Direwolves in the back. We did get a hit and run on those uh, 
um, plague claws here. I'm just going to run around, try to avoid his spears. Meanwhile, on this flank, I see his uh, Skaven slaves. We're going to charge right into them with the hex rates. They don't have the best charge, but uh, these are just Skaven slaves, so they're not long for this world anyway. I commit a Scapscrath here. does okay damage to the clan rats as he starts throwing his death clubs at zombies. Uh, but death clubs aren't going to do too much to zombies. I mean, they're they're tanky. They're, they're just meat shields anyway. Doom whales are getting in as well, but I don't have any high value targets for him. And right now, my hex rates, because they're ethereal and he doesn't have much magic damage, they're free just to do a lot of damage in the back line. Terrify these Skaven slaves. Hop on the play claws. We got on these death club bombardiers, wolves and bats. A very nasty combo. They're not long for this world. These guys are very squishy. I mean, they do have a hundred armor, but very low health. And he does have his Warlock Engine, or his Warlock Master here, comes with uh, Brass Orb, Arcane Conduit, and uh, Flensing Ruin, Brax Call, and Scorch, as well as Death Frenzy. So almost completely kitted out. I cast a Wind of Death, does very good damage to these Storm Vermin, actually, taking them down to uh, about 115 troops, but half health. And yeah, so with the Hex Race being in the back line, we bring the Mortis Engine in, cause extra terror, and having it just chase off these Death Clothes, but I should be bringing it more this way. I see a blob over here. We've got our Vargal fighting Doom Wheels. And somewhere Vlad is in all of this. Where is Vlad? Vlad, oh, there he is. He's actually, no, that's the White King. White King's fighting Death Globes. Vlad von Karstein is actually over here. I think he was fighting that Doom Wheel, so he's running up now. Vlad is very hard to kill. With all the terror happening, the Skaven are starting to flee for their lives. Uh, Hex Race is getting tons of kills. I think Hex Race are very good in this matchup. I guess Skaven could bring, uh, maybe like, what do you call them? They're little drill guys. I'm drawing a blank on their name. Like the little warp stone crack drills that they use. They could lock down Hex Race, and I believe they do magic damage, so that might be a good counter. And you'd think the missiles would have magic damage. After all, warp stone is literally chaos energy in the form of a rock. Yeah, the more, the uh, more dissensions are going to come in here, keep the uh, Hex Race healthy, start doing damage to... Uh, everything around it. This is a very good blob. Um, I wish you could see the healing value on these things, but so far just damage value, and it's racking up very quickly the longer he's in this blob. Um, damage dealt is of course higher than damage value because these are just Skaven. But now I've wrapped up most of his forces, he doesn't have his missiles left, and everything is routing due to the fear that the undead cause. Hex Race though, doing very good in this battle. He's gonna throw in some last effort death globes, but uh... It's really fleeting at this point. Everything's going to run away. I brought just enough mobility to shut all, shut down all of his threats. He's going to come back with some Skaven Slaves, but uh, without any heavy hitters left or any good magic damage, it's pretty much over at this point. I think had he brought maybe the Mutant Rat Ogre, that would be a good counter to the Hex Race, because it does have um, immune to psychology, I believe, and it does also cause magic damage, so that would be... A very good um, counter, but yeah, good game to my opponent there. Taking a look at the values here. Vlad didn't do too much, only got uh, two kills. He was fighting those, um, what do you call them, those doom wheels the whole time. But he did get good damage value off of that wind of death. Zombies, of course, just being zombies, they're not going to get any value at all. They're not going to do damage. Although this one got 26 on some Skaven Slaves, and 1800 damage is nothing to scoff at. But the real winner is here. That took home the cake were these hex rates. 1,000 uh, damage value there, 900 here. And of course, our Vol Vorgulf was able to chase down his Doom Wheels. Mortis Engine also being very good. Yeah, good game to the Pilot Man. And uh, yeah, had I had I been in his position, I probably would have swapped out. Probably don't really need the Storm Vermin. I think you can get by with more Clan Rats. Maybe cut out a, a Doom Wheel as well and get like a Hell Pit or a Mutant Rat Ogre. And maybe cut out uh, the Death Globes. I don't think Death Globes are useful in the Vampire matchup because mostly Vampire players are going to bring Chaff. I mean, they could bring Graveguard, but I don't think Graveguard are too good in this matchup because of all the artillery and missile damage that the Skaven have as well as their monsters. I think it's better to go cheap and fleshy with zombies. So I probably would have cut these guys out, gotten some Rat Ogres, uh, maybe even some Wolf Rats to kind of like chase down the uh, Mortis Engine. Uh, they do have magic damage too, so actually Wolf Rats would be a good counter to Hex Rates as well. I might have to test that out to see who wins that matchup. But yeah, good game to my opponents, and I'll see you guys on the next cast.